that they voted for and it got home, not your wishes before. I know that, Candace, but I thought maybe we could use a few extras, like 578. I wish we could find Candace's cell phone. Hey, Candace's cell phone in a dressing room. Yeah. See? It's just that easy. I wish uh, your big live would start next. It does start next! <laughs> That's amazing! thing, all right? Like, I wish that Jesse McCartney could come hang out with us today. He is! what I tell you, dude? I'm like the best wisher ever. <gasps> oh, oh, you sorry. are. That's you okay. are, big boy. Yes, I We've am. also got a Fairly Odd Parents marathon leading up to a brand new premiere episode of Fairly Odd Parents at 8, 7 Central. So keep it right here for the You Big Last Fairly Odd wish -a -thon. Nice. Thank Wait you. a minute. Yes, I've got another one. Yes. I wish we could watch Fairly Odd Parents right now. Yes, well, we're about to! Whoa, this is getting freaky. Another one up. This is the Fairly Odd Wishathon on You Pick Live. Yes, it is. And we are going strong for three hours. And we're fulfilling your wishes. Before we kick off our countdown, we're fulfilling one lucky viewer's wish to be our fan of the week. He lives in Maine. Oh, wow, we got a fan of the week logo. Oh, That's yeah, nice. That's I like that. He does live in Maine. He loves video games. And he writes. I wish I could be You Pick Live's fan of the week because I am very loyal to the show and I make sure to vote for the Nick.com pick every chance I get. So do I, buddy. You wish it. We're granting it. Here's Nick, everybody. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Nick and I, Nick and I have similar hairdos. Really. Yeah, we do. We both got to go in the same way <laughs> there. just sticks up. Anyways, we've got Nick on the phone right now. Uh, Nick, you there? Yeah. Hey, so did you think your wish would come true? I didn't really think that my wish would come true, but this is really awesome. Did you vote on Nick.com for your top five wishes? I sure did. All right. Now, Nick, we're going to be checking in with you all week because you're not only part of the set, but you are also part of the show. I tried to give you five there. Keep it right here because <laughs> we're fulfilling your number five wish. Coming up next on your big live family on wish a thought. Nice going, Nick. and it's all leading up to a brand new premiere episode of Fairly Odd Parents tonight at 8, 7 Central. Yes, it is, and our wishes are already coming true. We have got Jesse McCartney coming by later, and he will be performing. Yeah, yeah. we're on a roll. Let's keep the train moving. Let's grant our first viewer wish. You guys have been voting on Nate.com for your top five wishes, and we're counting down to number one. All right, well, let's find out what number five is. Uncle Plasma, please do the honors. 2019, Now this I like to sing. Well, it's a good thing I make anything look good. Oh, so why don't you be quiet too. and go get dressed? Yeah, I do. You picked the wish and we granted it all in honor of the Fairly Odd Wishathon. All right, keep it right here because we are granting. Yeah, we're granting about? more wishes and watching more Fairly Odd Parents on You Pick Live. Yeah. It's all leading up to a brand new premiere episode of the Fairly Odd Parents tonight at 8, 7 Central. And we're counting down your top five wishes. Number five is about to be granted. Right, Pig Boy? Oh, oh Pig, Pig Boy! Boy. I'm not coming out! No, dude. Oh, I thought you looked awesome in anything. Oh, yeah, I, that's right. I look awesome. Oh, man! How about it, right? 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 She's on Nick.com. We're counting down to number one. Yeah, maybe one of you guys is going to get to wear a dress. Yeah, yeah. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. it wasn't on the wish list. Yes, there you go. But it is time to grant wish number four. Yes. So what's it going to be, Uncle Plasma? Yeah, Uncle Plasma, let's what's see, it going to be? Come let's on, see. Uncle Plasma. Wish number three. I don't even know the four. Count! Oh, 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 oh,
Charlie and Groom's right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Show some Charlie hustle. Oh, look at that's boy. a big Ooh. butt. Too. How's that dress working Wow, for is you? that thing big? Look out pretty good. I, I really like the color. Shows off my legs. I like the purple one. All nice. right, enough about I the legs. Let's watch another you big live cast member from Fill Your Witch Radio right now. Cal, your big butt. We're coming to you. It's time for you, Big Football Forecast Recap. I'm Brent Place. I'm Coach Candace, and we are talking about the pigskin picks. It was some weekend, right, Blazer? It was indeed, Coachy Coach. I repainted my bathroom and repotted some plants. I was talking about the playoffs. Right you are. Let's get to the picks. Brent made a pick for the mighty New England Patriots. They club at the Indianapolis Colts, leaving Peyton Manning crying and Brent with a record of 11 and 2. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Go crazy, Brent. Okay, I could say the same for Candace's pick, though. She went with the Philadelphia Eagles, and they didn't even give the Minnesota Vikings a chance. Nothing. That leaves Candace at 6 and 7. Don't give up, Candace. Put some muscle into it. Cal moved down the ranks. Are you finished, Coachy Coach? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Cal moved down the ranks with a pick for the St. Louis Rammies. They lost this weekend in a battle against the Atlanta yeah. Falcons. Cal, you are now officially out to pasture with a record of 3-10. Yeah, that's right. And the viewers made their pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers on Nick.com. And that game was more exciting than a whistleblowing contest. <laughs> The Steelers have the New York Jets by a field goal in overtime, and that leaves you guys with nine and four record. What's the whistleblowing contest got to do with this? Well, I'm in the top three percentile of gym teachers across the state for whistleblowing, Blazer. You must be proud of yourself. I am. It requires a lot of hot air. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can please, Verbal can you stop abuse. that? No, I can, you, you can't know what? Me. <laughs> Fifty shots. Coachy, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Go, Coachy, all right. Coach, yeah. Coach, are you okay? She's all right. She's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's me. I'm handsome. Step away from her. She's mine. I'm handsome. Hey, why can you make life fairly odd wishes on? You know, there's one thing I would never wish for. What's that? To eat an earwax taco. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's you know, speaking of you which. You like that, Scotty? That is exactly. Like wait, wait, wait. That's exactly what Jamie Lynn Spears had to do this weekend on this Nick on Our Dare. Oh, yeah. She's on the phone yeah. right now. Jamie Lynn, you there? Yeah, I'm here. How hey, you doing? Hey, Jamie Lynn. I'm good. Good. Uh, so tell us about the on-air dare you had to do. Well, I had to eat earwax tacos, which was really disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty disgusting. Now, when you got up there and saw the first taco, did you think you were going to be able to go through with it? I looked at it at first, I was like, oh, it doesn't look that bad, you know, and then I ate it, and I was like, oh, I cannot finish this at all. It was horrible. Did you throw up? Oh, I didn't throw up, but I was thinking about it. I really wanted to. We just showed a clip of you double fisting with <laughs> a taco in each hand there. Is it all over your mouth? So wait, wait, what, what is earwax, uh, it tastes like exactly? It tasted horrible. I can't even explain like how chicken? bad it tasted. Like chicken? Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Tommy, our lounger has a question. Tommy? Have you ever eaten thing worse? You know what? No. Earwax tacos are definitely the worst thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> I, I, I think that's safe to say, Jamie Lynn, especially since you've chosen your meals for a long time. Jamie Lynn, thank you very Thanks, much. Jamie Lynn. And I hope you don't have to do another Snick on Air Dare for a while. <laughs> Take care. All right, don't forget to check out Jamie Lynn Spears on the new Zoe 101 this Sunday in Team Nick. Uh, right now, here's more of You Pick Live's Fairly Odd wish a thought. Nice. I mean, it's weird. Like, I wish for something and it just comes true. Really? Yeah. Like, check this out. I wish I was having a really good hair day. Well, Bingo! You know, that, that's really something. No, <laughs> this is really something. I wish this Jesse McCartney guy would show up already. Dude, I, I am Jesse McCartney. <laughs> Whoa! Am I good or what? Yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> yes. Hey, so, so what are you wearing this dress for, Oh, buddy? this. It's, um, it's just a um, little light on laundry. It's just, it doesn't really, I don't normally wear it. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. Yeah. Hey, you're watching you 
Big life's really odd wishes off. That's right. If you're wishing Jesse McCartney to be here, you're in luck! I just threw out my voice there. How's it going, man? It's going good, buddy. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm hanging out. So yeah. you're a singer and an actor. Which do you like better? I, everybody asked me this question. And I, you know, if I had, I don't think I could give up one for the other. I love them both, both the same. so, so much. And they're totally, two totally different feelings, two totally different vibes. I don't think I could give one up. They're both very, maybe, very fun. Maybe your next concert, you could do like costumes. Yeah. So you could be like acting as a character. Yeah. yeah no, sorry, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, you've been singing professionally since you were seven years old. Yeah. So wh what's, what's the most important thing you have learned since you were seven wow that's Probably a big question one of the well I guess maybe just to have fun to just to have a good time in what you do because if you're not having fun then you shouldn't be doing it so I think having fun is probably the most important thing, one of the lessons I've learned. Yeah, that's, that's good. A, that's a good, don't that's look at good. me, I, I have fun. Uh -huh. Look at me like I don't have fun or something. <laughs> now if you could have one wish be granted, what would it be? One wish be granted. Only one. One wish be, I wish I could be like Pick boy Wow, yeah. don't wow. say that. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. think I oh, like yeah. that Speaking one. of which, oh, yeah. we got a question in the lounge. That's a good wish, Jesse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the question that I have for you is, what was it like um, having your dad in the Beatles? I mean, that's awesome. Now you don't want to be more yeah, like yeah, you know what? I, I think I've changed my mind. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. I, mind. I think we've got another question from the lounge. We'll just ignore that one. This one's from Allison. Um, what do you like to do when you're not singing or acting? You know, I'm a big sports fan. Yes. I'm actually, right now, watching all the football games, but I no. am a very big... Go yeah. Pats! Are you a Pats? Sorry, are you no. Pats? Oh, okay. Sorry. But I am a big baseball fan, and I was... Go really, Red Sox! Uh, you know... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was bummed. But you know what? I am a very big sports fan. I'm a jock at heart, so I, I definitely love to play ball on the side. Also, well, we got a little sporting activity for you coming up. It's called the Nick Quick Pick. Let's it's do it. a sporting of the mind. We got more Jesse McCartney coming up after this. <laughs> making wishes come true. Yes, Candace. <laughs> it's all leading up to a brand new premiere episode of Fairly Odd Parents at 8, 7 Central. Coming up next, the gang and I are granting wish number three. Mm -hmm. Not joking. And it's not joking. either going to involve underwear or juggling. I hope it's not going to involve underwear and juggling. I know it's going to be. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We'll find out what you voted for next. Keep it right here on your big line. <laughs> Wish it down, and we are about to grant another wish. You guys have been voting on Nick.com for our f top five wishes, and we are counting down to number one. It's time to fill wish number three. <laughs> Let's see what it is, Uncle Plasma. Will, be, will wear their underwear on the outside. Yeah, you know what? That, that's going to be very, very funny. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Get to but see Brennan in his play. underwear on the you're outside. You're sort of part of our cast right now. What? You're sort of part of our cast, so aren't you going to do it with us? I'm going to let him slide on this one. Uh, oh, uh, pick boy. I pick him to let him slide. Doing? Doing. I know what I'm doing. You think you're important? We're going to change. We'll okay. keep it right here because Jesse McCartney's taking on the Nick Quick pick with after failing up here. Right here. You're watching You Pick Lives Fairly Odd Wishathon, and the entire cast is wearing your underpants on the outside because you wished it. Pick Boy, where is your underwear? Dude, I wear them like this every day. It's a superhero thing. You totally wouldn't understand. Okay, Candace, those aren't your underwear. Yes, they are. They're my thermal underwear, Brent. <laughs> but I really like yours. Like I like leopard. Thank you. I that. <laughs> Cal, I noticed you're the only one sporting the underpants with me, although they're quite large. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, let's do the quick pick. Cool. We're gonna go change. Oh, great, Candace. We already great. talked about that. That's great. All right, thanks. All right, it's time to do the quick pick with Jesse McCartney. Let's get to it. Give me that electric guitar, uh, Jesse. This is how it works, all right? We got 13 questions here. You're gonna ask, you're gonna say pick. Pick them as fast as you can. I'm gonna ask you a question, you answer it, you go on and pick again, okay? Okay. The world record right now is six. Give me 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh. 
Thank you. You ready? And pick. One. One versus pop versus soul. Pop, pop, pick. Two. Two, do it. Bust a move. Let's see it. Woo! Nice pick. Three. Three, sing it, your highest note. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't that high. It was high, four. Yeah, four. <laughs> you say something nice about public restrooms. <laughs> public restrooms, they're so beautiful. Y yeah, whatever. Number pick. five. Five, uh, you pick it, acting or singing. Uh, you gotta pick one. The, uh, both. Yo! Uh, acting sometimes. Yeah, good pick. Six. Favorite take this, supermodel. Seven. Oh, nice, that's it. That's it, so how many? He got six! He got six. six! He tied the record! Nice going! Nice going! This is my thermal end. This is my thermal end. What am I saying? This is my bikini brief. Nice job, dude. Thank you. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. I like the supermodel. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. GG. Okay, you're watching New Pick Live's Fairly Odd wish a -thon, and it's time to find out what up in your world today. Our top story comes from Brain11 on Nick.com who posts, The other day I was playing with my hamster and he got all hyper. I went to put him back in his cage and he jumped off my hand and crashed into his water bottle. Oh, I bet that really hurt, huh? That's why we at You Pick Live suggest that you outfit your hyperactive hamster in protective gear. Your accident-prone pet can be safe and stylish. It's great for adults, too. Brent? Why do I have to wear this again? For your own safety, Brent. Right. Here's what up in entertainment. Justin Timberlake gave his girlfriend, Cameron Diaz, a three carat diamond promise ring. I can't wait to see what the engagement ring is gonna look like. Back to you, Candace. Thanks for that, Brent. Didn't hurt. See? And now it's time for our weird fact of the day. Did you know that almost all of the hamsters we have as pets are descendants of two hamsters bred in the 1930s? So that is a lot of grandchildren. Okay, keep it right here because we're checking out more Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, you pick last Fairly Odd. This is Doesn't hurt. You're watching the Fairly Odd Wishathon on You Pick Live. So if you guys have any wishes, you should ask them to me because I'm like the most awesomest wisher ever. I can make them all come true. You got one? I wish Jesse McCartney would perform. Done and done. And check this out. Hey, Jesse. Yo, what's up? Why don't you uh, set up for your performance? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, that's good. See that? Check it out. It's just that easy. How about you? You got one? I wish I could have a spaceship that travels at the speed of light. Stand by. Check your driveway when you go home. You got it. It's on. You're watching You Pick Live's Fairly Odd Wishathon. Here he is singing Beautiful Soul. Give it up for Jesse McCartney. <laughs> Just anyone to hold I don't want my love to go to waste I want you and your beautiful soul yeah. I know that you Are something special And to you I'd be Always faithful I want to be What you always needed Just anyone to hold I don't want my love to go to waste I want you and your beautiful So you're the one I want to chase You're the one I want to hold I won't let another minute go to waste I want you and your beautiful So yeah Your beautiful soul
up next, we're making another wish come true. That is because we're counting down your top five wishes from Nick.com, and wish number two is coming up next. What do you guys think it is? I think that pick boy is going to fly. Ooh, pick boy is going to fly. Huh? Well, I tell you what, I'll give you a clue. It's either going to include a crank call or a taxi cab. Really? Yeah. I hope it's a lifetime hair supplies for me. Well, it's not up to you, dude. It's a viewer's wish. We'll find out which Whatever. wish gets granted coming up next. So stick around. I hope one of them is to see a brand new episode of Fairly Odd Parents because we got one coming your way at 8 7 Central. Well, let's get to wish number two. two. What's it going to be, Uncle Plasma? Check it out. Uh, 20. 20. Two. Two. two! It's Celebrity Crank Phone Call. Hey, okay, oh. everyone, look at your phone books. Try and find someone to prank. Okay. Okay. All I have here are ex-presidents, <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize winners, and William Shakespeare. We should probably leave all them alone. I got Pink Girl in here. And I can't find Brad Pitt's number anywhere. Shh, I'm calling pop singer JoJo. She's bubbly. And it's ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. Hello? Hi, is JoJo there? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I'm sure. How are you? I'm fine. Is Cal there? What? Yeah! <laughs> Hello, this is Cow. Did I receive any messages? Brett, Candace, is that you? No! 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 I have no idea. No idea. Uh, keep it right here because we're getting closer to granting number one wish on You Pick Lives. Fairly odd wishes you said New Big Live, and right now it's time for the Boys versus Girls Challenge! And it's a fairly odd challenge for our fairly odd wishes on. All right, today we're going to change it up, and we got Candace playing for the girls as always, but today, Jesse will be playing for the boys, and they are going to grant the <laughs> fishes wishes by sending them home. Okay, as you can see over here, we have two piles of fishes being held by our loungers, Alex and Ileana, playing for their respective teams. Candace, yeah. I'm going to let you just stay behind the line. <laughs> I'll take care of this, okay? Candace and Jesse are going to have these fish bowls filled with water, and they have to stay behind this line. All right? Our loungers will toss the fishes in the air over to the bowls. Whoever catches the most fish in 30 seconds will be declared today's winner. Remember, you cannot cross your lines. Are we clear on the rules? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get your set. Okay, we got zero, zero. Looks like uh, we got. Looks like we got one for the girls here. All right, everyone, stand. Oh, Jesse's making a mess of himself. We got a catch over there. We got a one-one. Oh, we got a. Oh, oh, we have a, a rogue fish. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, what do we got? We've got two for the boys three. and three for three. the girls. Come on over, come on over, come on over. Girls are the winners. Yes. Jesse was a, a valiant effort. What happened? A valiant effort. What happened? What happened? We got more. <laughs> Fairly odd wishathon right now. Yeah. Oh, you know you get the. for the bucket of bucks. Yeah, right. Which is very exciting. Yes, it sure is. All we need is a picking superhero. <laughs> oh, oh, big boy. boy. Wow. What is going on? Who wants to go to the prize ball? Oh, dear. I'm going to look at you. Come on down, buddy. Let's stand right next to me. OK, let's go. What's your name? Alex. All right, yeah. Alex, you can win the bucket of bucks, the bucket of yuck, or an mm -hmm. autographed T-shirt, and everyone gets T-shirts. Loungers, which one do you want to go for? <laughs> Quiet! 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 Alex, go over there and punch the number you want. All right, dude, do it.
wishes come true all day long. Yes, indeedy. It's all leading up to a brand new premiere episode of Fairly Odd Parents at 8, 7 Central. All right, thank you so much to Jazzy McCartney for coming by and granting us this lovely performance. Coming up next, a brand new wish number four. And who knows what it's going to be? We'll find out more. What's the number one wish gonna be, Uncle Plasma? 20, 20 all the way down to number one. one. I can barely contain myself. What? 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 Garbage no way! Wrestling! Garbage is yeah. Oh, yeah, we saw you on Celebrity Robot House. Can't believe you were the first one voted off, dude. Yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, well, you are gonna go up against one of these items, either a pinata, the bucket of yuck, or a big bag of salad. Ooh, loungers, what's it gonna be? Oh, yeah. Sounds like the bucket of yuck. Sounds like the bucket of, of yuck, Garbaggio. Are you ready? I'm alone. <laughs> he doesn't know, but bring it in anyway! Garbaggio is circling the Mongolian crazy bucket. It's going